So guys, as you already know, ChatGPT5 has just been released. And I truly think that it will change the way that people start, run and grow online businesses. And this is for so many different reasons. Now I'm someone that's been using ChatGPT for the past four, maybe five years. And over that time, I've seen it change and improve. And what I wanna do in today's video is go through all of the new updates that they've made. And I also wanna explain exactly how all of these new features can be integrated with all of the different side hustles, all of the different businesses that I speak about on this channel. Of course, as always, treat this video as a form of education or entertainment. You know, it's not financial advice in any way, shape or form. By no means am I saying that you're gonna be able to watch a video like this and make money straight away. My goal is just to educate you on what's happening in the world of AI so that you can go away, start implementing it in the most efficient way possible. But now that I've got that disclaimer out of the way, let's jump straight into the video. And what I'm gonna do is maybe show you five different new features and again, show you how they can work with an online business. Just to make your life a little bit more easier, whether you've already got a business, maybe you're thinking about starting one, you're gonna be able to get a lot of value from this video. So as you can see, I'm on the ChatGPT5 homepage right now. And this brings me on to one of the initial changes that I want to touch on, which is the fact that there's not multiple different models to choose from. So before you would have clicked into the top left hand corner and you would have seen ChatGPT 4.0, you would have seen 4.0 Mini, maybe you would have seen 4 Turbo. I can't remember all of the names right now, but there was around 10, maybe 15 different models that did different things. But straight away, you can see that there is a flagship model that is going to be universal if you have a ChatGPT account. And I'm gonna to touch on which type of package you need later on towards the end of this video. But the main one that most of us are going to be using is GPT-5. This is gonna be more of the everyday ChatGPT that you're going to use for most tasks. But there's also the thinking model as well as the pro model. I need to upgrade my account if I wanna get this one. This one's a little bit complicated and maybe a bit more advanced than what most of us need it for. But yeah, the overall point I'm trying to make right now is that there's not a lot of confusion when it comes to which model you need. And the reason why they did this is because what you can now do is within one chat session, you're gonna be able to do everything you need to do, whether it's you know getting some form of text, maybe an image, Maybe you wanna get a spreadsheet. Everything can be done within the same session that you're using. But this now brings me on to a question that I'm sure that most of you are thinking, which is Sam, how exactly does GPT-5 help when it comes to managing, running, and starting an online business? Well, this brings me on to one of the first upgrades that they've made, which is long-term memory. It's now able to remember conversations that you had with it maybe a week, two weeks ago, and you don't need to scroll through all of your old sessions. I'm sure that you know that feeling where you open up ChatGPT, you have a conversation with it on a Monday, you tell it specific things about the business that you're thinking about starting. Maybe you've already started it. Now you go back to ChatGPT four days later and you're scrolling through all of your chats, trying to find the exact session so that you can get all of the details. And to give you an example of what I'm talking about, recently I built a dropshipping store using AI and I also used ChatGPT to help me do it. And I had the conversation with it maybe a month ago, but let's see if it remembers the store that I built. So I'm just gonna enter this prompt. I'm gonna say, do you know about the test pet store that I built recently to dropship products? I'm gonna say, give me the name of the products so that I can see it in a easy to read format and then click on enter. And there we go. Straight away, it came back with the exact same store that I was able to build, which is called Pure Pet Market, as well as the main product that I'm focused on selling. So if I just go over to the store so that I can show you guys. So this is a store that I was able to build and this was the product that I was able to find using ChatGPT. So that's truly mind blowing. The fact that it remembers that, you know, is definitely gonna be beneficial when it comes to a lot of the other stuff that I'm gonna walk you through in this video. So this is the store that I'm gonna be using as an example. Again, it's a dropshipping store. I was able to build it with AI and I was able to list this product for sale using AutoDS. If I just log into my AutoDS account and come over here to products, as we can see, I've got the one product listed and right here is available. And this is the potential profit that I'm gonna be able to make. So this is definitely impressive because again, it's been over a month since I built the store using ChatGPT. But this brings me on to one of the next features that I wanna talk about that they've recently added, which is deeper analysis. So the previous model of ChatGPT wasn't bad for all, but you know, the way that 
ChatGPT5 works, it's able to research deeper, give you better answers and just help you out when it comes to making strategic decisions for the business that you're looking to run. Because if I just come over here and enter this prompt, I'm going to say that I want to increase sales on my dropshipping pet store. Can you tell me five simple things that I can do? And as you just saw, it's now giving me things that maybe I wouldn't have been thinking about. I've been running e-com stores now for a while. So, you know, I'm aware of all of this. But if you're a beginner, this is definitely something that can help you out. You know, add urgency, social proof, offer a limited time discount, improve the product page conversions, you know, simple things that I can do when it comes to changes that might increase my sales. This one right here, offer a limited discount. It's letting me know that maybe I should bundle a specific product with the one that I'm selling. You know, it's letting me know training color might be a good option. So if I did want to see if it's available for me to drop ship, I could just copy the name of the product just like that go back over to auto ds click into their marketplace and then literally from here i'm going to be able to search for the product and see if there's any available and because i've already connected my dropship and store to auto ds as you can see in the top left hand corner i'm going to be able to literally click on import draft and get it added to my store asap and this now leads me on to another you know amazing thing about gpt5 which is the fact that it can scan the internet in real time. Because if I wanted to know what are the 10 best products for me to list on my store, I'm gonna be able to enter a prompt like this, asking it to tell me the top 10 highly searched for products that I can add to my pet store. And I also want it to rank them from best to worst. So I'm just gonna enter that prompt and then click on enter. And as you can see, it's already searching the web right now. And instantly it's now come back with some of the best products for me to sell and it's ranked them from one to 10. And because ChatGPT5 is able to scan the internet real time, it's also given me the estimated monthly searches for each. So the first product that has the most searches is this one and it's actually the one that I've got listed on my store already. But if we just skip down to the second one, which is dog car bed, I'm just gonna double check and make sure that it's performing well as per Auto DS's data. So I'm just gonna click into it. And what I'm gonna do from here is just click on trending products and I'm just going to search for dog car bed in here. So let's just click on search. Okay, great. So it's now come back with all of these different options that I can choose from. So of course I would need to have an idea of the exact design I wanna sell. But the reason why using ChatGPT in combination with a tool like AutoDS is useful is because you can click into any one of these different products. And AutoDS is now gonna be able to give you some more information on whether it's worth selling or not. You know, as we can see with this one, the engagement score is quite high, you know, 60 out of 100. It's not really saturated, you know, it's kind of busy at the moment, but we've got all of the target demographic information right here when it comes to who we can target if I wanted to sell this item. And if I also wanted to click into any of these competitors and see someone that's selling it right now, I can click into any one of these different links you know, take a look at exactly what they're doing, how they've been able to sell it. And if I wanted to replicate them, if they're successful, I can replicate them if I want to and just click through all of these different sellers. But swiftly moving on to one of the next features that OpenAI has added to GPT-5, which is the fact that you can create images. You can also create low ticket digital products within ChatGPT without having to go over to another image generation tool. So I'm gonna stick within this chat and what I'm gonna do is just type in a simple prompt. Let's assume that I wanted to make an ebook that I could use either as a lead magnet on my dropshipping store, or maybe I wanted to sell it, list it, and hopefully generate revenues from it. I'm gonna be able to type in a prompt just like this. Super simple prompt. I'm just gonna say, create an ebook for me to sell on my pet store or use as a lead magnet. So I'm just gonna click on enter. And there we go, guys. Not only was it able to create the cover of the ebook, but it was also able to create all of the pages as well. You know, the table of contents, listing out each chapter, as well as the, you know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, so on and so forth. I'm now gonna be able to export this and use it in my marketing materials, list it for sale as a low ticket digital product. This is definitely a mind blowing feature because again, when it comes to making a digital product like this, you wasn't really able to do this a few months back. You'd need to go over to Canva, maybe use another AI tool when it comes to writing out the content. But right here, as you can see, it's been able to do it within a matter of minutes. But I wanna move on to another feature, another upgrade within GPT-5 that 
you know, is definitely something I've never seen before, which is the fact that you can use it when it comes to creating your own software interfaces for you to use in your business in whatever way that you want to. So whatever idea that you've got when it comes to a software that you want to be able to use, I'm not saying that it's going to be able to create the most complex software ever, but a simple one that you can use day to day, you're going to be able to use GPT-5 when it comes to building one for you and your team to use. So let's assume that I wanted to build a software that's going to be able to help me when it comes to content planning, specifically when it comes to posting content on social media. What I need to do first and foremost is enter a prompt just like this. I'm going to say, can you give me a HTML prompt for AI social media content calendar that allow me to click run code in chat GPT to make the software super simple and then click on enter. As you can see, it's taking its time to think longer for a better answer. If I wanted to get a quicker one, I could just click on this button, but I'm going to leave it to do its thing and I'm going to show you the next steps. Okay, guys. So as you can see, it's running the code right now. It's you know, making sure that it's going to insert all of the details. If I wanted to be a little bit more specific with it, I could have, but I wanted to, you know, come up with an idea of itself based on the prompt that I entered. And once it's completed doing what it's doing when it comes to producing this code, the only thing I now need to do is click on run code and it's now going to be able to show me what it was able to build. And there we go, guys. You know, this is the social media content calendar right here. It already knows the name of my business. I didn't even need to tell it that. It already knows that I'm selling pet products. You know, and it's just going to give me an interface that's going to make things seamless. But if I just expand it out just to kind of give you some insight into how it works, so I'm just going to type in the name of the brand that I'm running. I'm going to say that I'm focused on pet products. Primary audience is new dog owners. Primary goal is going to be sales and conversions. Start date is going to be from the beginning of September for the whole month. And I'm focused on mainly posting on Instagram for now. Let's see where it's able to come back with. I can also update the brand voice as well. I'm going to leave it how it is and I'm just going to click on generate calendar. And there we go. It's now giving me all of the content that I'm able to post every single day throughout the month of September when it comes to this pet brand that I'm looking to build. This makes things a little bit more easier because of course I can just use this calendar, print it out, stick it on my wall and now decide if I want to post any one of these pieces of content. But again, it's just going to be able to help you out. And I'm only showing you this as an example. You can make any type of software interface that you want to use. And the good thing about ChatGPT is that you're actually able to get the link of it. So if I just click on share, I'm now going to be able to share this link with anyone. I can make it public. I can make it private. But if I give this link to someone, they're going to be able to use it. And the best part about it is that I can make adjustments to it. If I want to change the color, I'm going to be able to do it all on the left hand side within this chat box over here. But this now brings me on to one of the next interesting ways that GPT-5 can help you when it comes to running your business, mainly when it comes to helping you manage your money and calculate the profits that you're able to make, which is that it's able to build you know, intuitive, highly advanced spreadsheets or basic ones if you want a basic spreadsheet directly within ChatGPT without you having to use any external software. So again, we're sticking with this pet store that I was able to build. Let's say if I wanted to build a software to help me track the profits that I'm making and I also wanted it to, you know, fill in the details and give me an idea of the main things to look out for when it comes to my expenses and my revenue, I can now go onto GPT-5 and type in this prompt. And because of the upgrades that they've made when it comes to improving the reasoning, improving the ability to read the prompt that I entered, I'm going to be able to be specific and say that I want it to have formulas. I want it to track net profit, gross profit, and I want it to be for my e-commerce business and all of the other information. You can pause the screen right now and I'm just going to click on enter. OK, so that took about 28 seconds and it's now come back with the spreadsheet that I'm going to be able to download straight away. So I'm just going to click on this link and there we go, guys. It's got the dropship and pet store profit and loss summary. You know, when I fill out all of this information, there's formulas in here. This is where the orders, expenses, you know, cost of goods. And the good thing about it is that it's also put these different categories. So if I wanted to say that I spent, you know, a certain amount on ad spend, let's say around $300 and I spent another 500 on office and let's put another one just to show you how this works. I'm going to put $200 and for the orders, I'm just going to enter some simple entries. But if I just go over to the PL statement, we can see that the chart over here has now changed. 
And this is because everything within the spreadsheet is connected. So these are some of the you know powerful, interesting ways that GPT-5 works. It's gonna be able to help you with your business in so many different areas. And in today's video, I just wanted to keep it you know simple and kind of just give you the overview of different ways that I'm using it. There's also ways that you can use it when it comes to helping you get traffic two products that you might be thinking about selling. I've got a free course that anyone is free to check out in the description down below. It's gonna walk you through how I personally use ChatGPT when it comes to building online stores, loading it with products that can be automated in the sense of the traffic as well as the fulfillment of the products as well. There's so many different use cases for GPT-5 and if I was to go through all of them in today's video, we're gonna be sitting here for the next two hours, but I've got many more videos coming out over the next couple of days, over the next few weeks. So be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you can be notified whenever I drop those videos. And if you also wanna watch another video that I made not too long ago where I break down some other AI tools that you can use when it comes to starting up a side hustle, as a complete beginner, you're gonna be able to check that out by clicking the link right there. Be sure to check that out straight after this. It's already helped out so many people. I've gotten so many messages from people that have been able to get value from it. And I'm sure if you're able to watch it as well, you're gonna be able to learn something from it too. So I'm gonna catch you in that video. As always guys, make sure you stay safe out there. Peace.